What's going on everyone? We gotta talk about Doge Chain. We're gonna talk about the technical analysis here and that's pretty much all we're gonna do. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice, but let's get straight to Doge Chain. So first things first, we're gonna be looking at the price here. Right now we are at 3Z6749, 3Z as in three zeros after the decimal place. So that is 0.0006749. And our 24-hour trading volume for Doge Chain is at $1.9 million. Um, our market cap, $17.3 million. And we, for the last year, you know, we're down 64.4%. Now, I, I really like to see whenever cryptos are down this much. Because whenever it's down by this much, it pretty much just shows how much upside potential we have. Because if you look at something like Bitcoin, Bitcoin's going crazy. But once Bitcoin starts to go down all the money from like Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to start flowing into altcoins. So that's pretty much what we're betting on right now. And you can see Bitcoin is really at an all time high for the year at up 109% in the last 24 hours. Like that's kind of crazy. And then if you look at it, it's almost back to its complete all time high of all times. So this is kind of big Bitcoin going crazy right now. And that's why I'm looking at stuff like those chain. I'm like, look, those chain has not had its time to shine yet for the last year. It's only, it's down 64.4% in the last year. So you just got to think about the upside potential here for Doge Chain. So that's really what I'm looking at right now. And right now I'm just looking at altcoins and smaller low cap altcoins. This is like a tier one crypto, a really low cap altcoin. And that's why I like it. So we're going to talk about this technical analysis here. And um, yeah, in every single other period, you know, even in the last seven days, down 8.5%. In the last 24 hours, down 3%. In the last 14 days, we are up 6% in the last 14 days. But remember, in the last month, we're down 0.6%. So Doge Chain is at a very good point right now to like get in at a discount. Um, very, It's super discounted right now, super discounted. Only 86% up from the um, all-time low. So that's that's significant. Like If you look at other coins, they're like 20,000% 20, 20, above the all-time low. But anyways, let's talk about this. So... First things first here with Doge Chain, we're about to be looking at our momentum wave bands, and this is the chart prime indicators link in the description if you want to check that out. But the momentum wave bands here it really just tracks the momentum, and I'm already noticing a pattern here. And right now we are making our way down to this bottom momentum wave band, right? Typically the green ones down here, the bottom that's our support. So as we go down to our support momentum wave band, that's where the momentum for the buying pressure is going to come in when we get around this area here. So what we're really looking for is 0 0.00061. Well, really 0 0.00062. Right now we are at 3Z67, right? We're at 67 right now. What we really want to see is 62. So that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to pull back a little bit. It may not seem like a lot, but you know, it's a good discount in price, right? It's really good discount in price. Um I don't see it going all the way back down to 55 right now because um the market is going crazy right now. I think Doge Chain is probably going to benefit from the market craziness right now right it's just it's just going to take another little pullback if you actually look at the rsi it looks like it's about to cross almost like it's about to go back up so like i said i do believe it's going to pull back a little bit more possibly get down here and then going to increase from there now is it just going to be a huge pump no because it hasn't been pumping huge for a while in order for us to have a huge pump here inside of doge chain we, we are literally going to need the whole market to just kind of reverse to the altcoins, like the low cap altcoins. Because right now is the time for Bitcoin. It's the time for Ethereum. It's the time for tier three and tier two altcoins. Right now is not the time for tier, tier one altcoins right now. It's not really meme coin altcoin season, but like other altcoins are doing good, but not tier one altcoins. Like, I mean, not tier three altcoins, like tier one, tier two altcoins. They're doing pretty good. But the tier three ones, they're really not getting that much shine right now. So Doge Chain just happens to be one of those tier three altcoins that only have $17 million inside of the market cap. So that's why Doge Chain really isn't moving along with the rest of the market. But this means that it's a discount inside of price. So that's what I'm looking at this as. And like I said, I'm not telling anyone to buy it or anything like that. I never tell anyone to buy anything. And I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But I'm looking at this personally as a discount. So that's how I'm treating this. And um, if you want to do the same, you could if you want. Or if not, you know, go ahead and don't do that. But let's go ahead and open up a Fibonacci retracement here. Because the Fibonacci 
is always going to tell us where our next support and resistance levels will be. So we're going to go ahead and open up this Fibonacci and probably going to get it all the way up here to that top green line right there, right? You want it from the swing high to the swing low. So what we are now seeing here is at the top of that Fibonacci just so happens to be where the top of our momentum wave band is where our resistance is. That's why I like, you know, back testing everything. I want to make sure every single avenue is covered. I want to make sure I check the RSI. Boom, the RSI is about to cross, so it's about to go towards the upside, but not before it probably goes down here, possibly. So it's probably going to be going down here to the momentum wave band and then going up. So that's why I like to check the RSI first. And then I check the momentum wave bands. Momentum wave bands show that it's going to have an increase in price soon. And then I check the um, Fibonacci. The Fibonacci shows that the resistance is so close. So we got rejected once. We got rejected twice. The third time is usually a charm. We did get rejected twice back here. But the third time just wasn't the charm. It just didn't happen for us. So then we kept pulling back. And then we tried to break it again. We tried to break that resistance again. Pulled back once. Failed. Now we pulled back again. Failed. If we can't do it the third time and we fail again, then we're probably going to go a little bit lower to, like I said, 0 0.00055, somewhere around there. If we cannot break it this third time, this third time, third time is usually a charm. So hopefully we can break that. But remember, you know, all of this is speculative. Hopefully we can break that. But this is still a discounted price, you know, all in all. I, I like the price right now. Like this is a good price to get in. For me personally, I like it. So let's just run some numbers here for Doge Chain. Right now, we got a good discounted price down 64.4% in the last year. But let's run some prices right now because, you know, at this current price, you know, you can get a lot of Doge Chain. So let's just say you had $1,000, right? You would divide it by our current price here. And that would give you 1.4 million Doge Chain, right? And then you can go ahead and multiply that. Let's just say by one cent. Let's be more realistic because if we say by a dollar, um, we would be 25 billion market cap. Um, I don't want to look that. I don't, I don't want to look that bullish, right? Because that's just like moon boy type stuff right there. I can't do that. All right. But if we got to one cents Doge chain, that's 14.8K from $1,000, right? All right. So first, what would the market cap be? All right. I want you guys to take a guess. We're going to go ahead and find out what that market cap right there would be. In order to find that market cap, we would take that circulating supply we would multiply that by one cent. That would be $259 billion, right? That would be a $259 billion market cap. That's definitely possible. A lot of projects have done it. Um, Baby Doge, Doge Elon Mars, Floki, a lot of different projects have done that. It's very easy, right? And definitely during the bull market. So it can definitely happen, right? And that would be at one penny. So I think at one penny, like that's a realistic, you know, point of view for our Doge chain. 259 billion market cap that's a 14x like 14x your money that's you know i'm pretty cool with that right and uh divide that by 17 million actually it's a 15.24x so that's even better so yeah that's a pretty good it's a pretty good gain right there it's pretty good gains um we can also do another test right here we could take a thousand dollars right and we can divide it by our current price for doge chain right and then we can go ahead and multiply this by 10 cents if we get to 10 cents, then our $1,000 goes to $148,000. That is a lot of money, $148,000. And if we divide that by 1,000, that'll show you we did 148X. Now, we can also go ahead and put in our circulating supply and multiply that by 10 cents to get what our market cap would be. Our market cap would be $2.592 billion. Now that's possible, but it's going to take a lot more work for Doge Chain to get to $2.592 billion. So that's why I say it's more realistic to do the um, $259 million market cap, right? As opposed to the $2.592 billion market cap. So $259 million, give or take $260 million, let's just round it. I definitely believe that we can do that. And yeah, that's a nice 15x from where we're at now, give or take. So I, I think that's definitely more realistic. So that's that should be our goal. We should be looking towards one penny. One penny Doge chain is what we need to be looking for. So one penny for the future. Let's get it. That's going to be the price prediction. I'm going to put it all over the uh, thumbnail and the in in the title. But yeah, one penny is going to be what we're going to be talking about. That's what we need. But anyways, if you like the video, definitely hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Um, if you want. 
you can go ahead and check out the chart prime indicators you can go ahead and check that out very very simple you can try it risk-free for seven days you can get your money back guaranteed you know it's trading simplified very 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 simple to use this they give you buy sell signals gives you a bunch of stuff you know it shows you the momentum wave bands that's what i always use because i love the momentum wave bands and it's fairly cheap too you get a 30 percent off code cp30 if you do go ahead and do it now and remember it's a seven day money back guarantee very 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 easy to use and you get the seven day money back guarantee can't beat it but yeah let me know what you guys think about this doge chain price prediction and as always i'll be back with another video